Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. I think I found the final piece of my, my A-cam setup. I've told you guys before about my A-cam setup, how I've kind of built that rig out. And unfortunately, once I've built this thing out with monitors and cages and arms and audio devices, uh, my normal tripod, it just wouldn't do it anymore. By now, hundreds of thousands of you have seen my video on my favorite tripod of all time, the Ulanzi F38 travel tripod, and I explained how not only is it cheaper than the Peak Design carbon fiber travel tripod, but it's better in almost every single way. So today I'm going to talk about my new tripod, which is also by Ulanzi, but it's a much heavier duty tripod. And if you guys have ever shopped for heavy duty tripods, You'll, uh, you'll know that they are ridiculously expensive. This tripod, however, not, uh, not so much. I'm gonna put this camera there and then I'll move my entire A camera rig here so you guys can see what I normally see when I'm talking to this camera. And then we'll talk about the tripod. We'll also talk about like the rig and how I've kind of MacGyvered everything. Let me get this over there and that over here. Okay, this is this is my A camera rig. This is what is normally there, and this is this is usually what I'm looking at when I'm talking to you guys. Let's do this. I will I'll break this all down. We'll talk about the tripod, and then we'll build it back up, and I'll kind of explain each piece and why why I've done what I've done. This this rig is basically like an entire filming. I can just move this anywhere, get it set up, and boom. I'm, I'm ready to record. It's taking a, taking a while to figure this all out, but I feel like with this new tripod, I've kind of got it. Back here. Okay, this is my new carbon fiber heavy duty tripod from Ulanzi. It's called the Video Fast Heavy Duty Tripod. And today we're gonna compare it to the Sackler Ace XL tripod. I think it's on B&H right now, $1,500. Once again, this tripod right now $500, I think it goes up in like a week. It's on early bird right now. One by one, let's just kind of go through the features of this thing. And while we do, we'll just keep comparing them to that Sackler Ace XL tripod kit. It's, it's on B&H, it's like 1500 bucks. I have shot with Sackler, but I've actually shot with like their $4,000 tripod, not the $1,500 one. So I don't have experience with it, but, uh, but I do know Sackler tripods. They're very nice. Just very expensive. Okay, let's talk about first the things that are the same between this tripod and the Ace XL. The first one is a Manfrotto quick release plate on there. It just uses a any Manfrotto plate can click on here and it is a single step. Hang on. It's a, a, a side load, I think they call it. Basically, Manfrotto plate on here goes in on the side and then just rocks in place and this one lever locks it down. So once that thing's locked on there, it is a uh, not going nowhere when you wanna get it off though, pop it out and it side loads out as well. So you don't have to do that whole like slide it on thing, just side load in, side load out. Same with the Sackler. Both the Ulanzi and the Sackler have carbon fiber legs. They both have a mid-level spreader, which means that the spreader for the legs is here and not down here on the ground. Both have a 75 millimeter bowl head, which means that even if you don't get it perfectly level with the legs, then you can kind of just take the head and you can, you can level it up. They also both have a bubble lever on the head where I can just get it just perfectly right. Screw that bowl in and boom, a perfectly level tripod. And then the last thing that they both have is the ability to have spike feet. A lot of, I've never used spike feet, I don't think, but you have the, the regular rubber feet on there. And then if you were like on a situation where you really wanted to dig into the ground a little bit more, you would grab this little rubber pull tab, pull up, pull off. And now, uh, now there's two spikes on each leg, that's sharp. Those are sharp spikes. Both the Sackler and the Ulanzi have spike feet or regular rubber feet. I just use rubber feet all the time. Okay, now let's go into what's different about this tripod from the Sackler and you'll see this $500 tripod in most ways is actually better than the $1,500 tripod. First up is single adjustment on each leg. I just, wait, open. I just open the lever on each leg each leg slides down and with a single lever, I can just kind of say I want it lower, I want it higher, I want to tilt it a little bit, I want to get it in the exact spot when I'm ready to lock it in. I just uh, one latch, two latch, three latch, and it's locked in place. On the Sackler Ace 
XL, like those legs, there's two, like there's latches up top and there's latches down below. So for each leg, you've got to do two latches on their like $4,000 tripod. The latches are up top and it's, that's actually really nice. I like that tripod a lot. It's $4,000. Probably the coolest bit of this entire tripod, I feel like, is uh, how quick and easy it is to set up and break down. Now, the weight of the Sackler is a little lighter. This is 10 and a half pounds for this whole rig. The Sackler comes in at nine and a half pounds, but this guy has a bigger payload. So the payload for, for the actual tripod itself, like the legs is 55 pounds on here and it's 46 pounds on the Sackler. And then for the ball head, it is 22 pounds on this guy and it's only 17 and a half pounds on the Sackler. What really matters though, and things that you'll you'll feel, one, the, the single legs thing, that's probably the biggest difference that you would feel between these two tripods, but the other big difference... Hey, really quickly, let me take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If you don't already know about Squarespace somehow, clearly you haven't watched this channel because I am a massive fan of Squarespace and user for over over 10 years. I think I'm like coming up on my 11 year anniversary using Squarespace for my professional photography business. And I've loved it for my photo business because one, it was incredibly easy to set up. And like that's back in the day, like it used to be incredibly easy. Now it's even simpler. They have something called a fluid engine design system. You pretty much go in there. Everything is drag and drop. You can customize the heck out of it. But the best part is that you can just start with one of their professionally designed templates, swap your info in, swap your photos in and it already looks great. Again, though, from there, use their Fluid Engine Design System and just customize it to your little heart's desire. That's what I'm doing right now for this channel. I'm actually making a new Squarespace website. I'm closing down the photography website and I'm switching it all over. I'm building one out for this channel. If you wanna set up a website on Squarespace for you, your business, just some side project that you might have, shoot to the first thing in the description, go over to squarespace.com and use code David Manning for 10% off at checkout. You're gonna be very happy that you chose Squarespace for your website. Okay, back to, back to my A camera rig and this, this very dope tripod. But the other big difference is, is this tripod head. The Sackler tripod head is a 338 and this is a 6610. And what that means is that when you put your rig onto the tripod, how much counterbalance is, is built in, how many degrees of that counterbalance and pan resistance and tilt resistance is there. Again, on the Sackler, it's a 338, and on here, it's a 6610. So let's first talk counterbalance. If I was to undo my tilt arm and I was to have it set to number one counterbalance and lean it forward and then just kind of let go, my camera just falls. Same thing if I go back, there's no resist, there's nothing helping my camera stay where it needs to be. But if I crank that all the way up to number 10, now when I push my camera forward and I let it go, it actually shoots back two levels. So your camera isn't gonna accidentally just dump forward or dump backwards when you have that 10 stages of counterbalance. Again, on the Sackler, there's eight stages. On this guy, there's 10 different stages that you can kind of just dial in so you have just the right amount that's giving you that resistance. Now, there's also resistance built into that tilt head. So I have six levels of resistance built into the tilt head. And this is for if you are doing a tilt shot. Let's say I go all the way to zero and let's go zero counterbalance. Now, if I was to just try to do a tilt shot, it's me and my hand trying to do smooth, steady, tilt. And if you've ever tried that before, you'll see that like you'll kind of go fast and then slow and then it's not as smooth as you think that it should be. So you add in some resistance. Let's go to level four. And now at level four, I kind of just want to do a tilt shot. I just kind of push down. And because of that resistance, it's so much smoother. Let's go all the way to six. At six now, I have the full level of resistance so that that tilt is just a really smooth tilt. And then same thing for the pan, flip down here. Let's go all the way to, oh yeah, we're on zero. Doing a pan shot like this, there's no resistance at all. The tripod can just kind of spin freely. Trying to do a pan and make it smooth, it again, it's just all on you and you are shakier than you think. So what you need to add in is again, that resistance. Let's crank it all the way to six just for kicks. And now, like now let's get the arm up to where I would actually use it. Now this arm, I'm just gonna push against it and I get a really smooth pan. That's nice. This is, these are the features that are on very expensive tripods are now on this guy, again, 
$500. Oh, two more things that this has that the Sackler does not have. Uh, one is a really nice carry handle. This carry handle bolts on to one of three locations. It has a quarter 20 hole and then two locating pins. So just put that either here or either of these other two spots. But what's nice about these other two spots is that I can then put F22 plates right there. Let me, let me get it out to show you first. That little guy right there locks in because of a quarter 20 and two locating pins to this spot here. So I have one on this side and one on this side so that I can take something like, like this guy, which is the F22 magic arm. And because I have quick release on this side and quick release on this side, I can now just lock that onto place and boom, my tripod has a magic arm quick release attached to it. And now I can move this magic arm anywhere that I want because my audio recorder, the Tascam X8 has one of these mounted to the back of it with a quarter 20 on there. I can now mount my audio recorder right on the side, kind of position it where I want so I can see it perfectly, lock that in place. And now I always know whether I'm recording audio. Many times now have I filmed these videos and then realized I wasn't recording audio. So having this magic arm there is just super clutch. Now, my goal with this setup is that I can break this thing down, like bring the legs all the way down and move it around, take it outside, go places with it, throw it in my van, take it on location somewhere. And basically the rig is just ready to go. And for that, I need audio. I need the, the microphone that goes with this. And for this bit, I, uh, kind of took, you guys ever see that, that Matty Hapoya video back in the day where he takes the arm of the tripod, he puts it out here, hang on. So the arm of the tripod is shooting out. And then I've got this guy, and this is a magic arm, F22 magic arm, quick release to a Ulanzi clamp. And then on this side, I've got my Rode NTG3. You could put any microphone on here. But the idea here is that I can mount this on the end of this arm, hang on. Just like this, I can kind of look at my shot and then use this to get it so that the microphone is just out of frame. Now, boom, no matter where I am, I have an A cam recording. I've got my monitor up top. I have my boom arm for my microphone. I've got my audio recorder so I can monitor my levels. Everything, everything is on this one rig. I don't say it often, but I, th I think I'm a genius for it. <laughs> but that is it for those of you that have asked about what what camera I film with, what my rig looks like back here. This is it. And now with the Ulanzi Video Fast Heavy Duty Tripod Kit, I was able to add these magic arms on here. This is long enough now where I can put this on there and get rid of my microphone boom pole. This is, this is just such a good, it's such a good setup. So many different options that you can do. Let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully again, I saved you some money. Now we have a travel tripod, the best that there was and it's cheaper, and now a heavy duty tripod, also the best that there is, and a third the price of a Sackler. I'll see you soon.